Top test prep. All right, there's a lot to keep in mind when considering the scoring of the DAT. So let's walk through it. The DAT has four sections. First, there's natural sciences. This section has questions on general biology, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. The second section, this is pretty unique. It's called perceptual ability. This has some interesting questions like on cube counting and paper folding. It's not something that you would necessarily learn in a class, but it's trying to test you on how you perceive these obscure thoughts and shapes. Now the third section is pretty standard, reading comprehension. You've been seeing that since high school. And finally, we have quantitative reasoning, which has mathematics problems and word problems. So the average on each of these sections, according to the American Dental Association, is about a 17 out of 30. But how your score is considered in admissions depends on the school that you're applying to. Some schools just look at your total sciences score, which is really just the natural sciences. Other schools, however, use an academic average, here I've abbreviated as AA, and that considers your scores from natural sciences, reading comprehension, and quantitative reasoning. Now the ADA says that, like I said, the average on each section is about 17 out of 30. Most schools require an average of 18 to 20 out of 30 for admissions. And Harvard, Harvard Dental School is gonna require something closer to 22 or 23 out of 30. Most students get a score under 25 out of 30. So don't think that a 30 out of 30 is the highest possible. Very, very few students actually get that kind of score. So we're ready to get you as high as possible of score so you can get into the school of your dreams. So give us a call at 1-800-501-7737.